the Honorable Commissioner for Aviation, Transport Technology in Ebo State. Yes, so my people, welcome to Madam Sabi Media TV. Namibi, Madam Sabi, the one and only. Madam Sabi, what's the latest update at Eboy International Airport? Oh, yeah, carry your chair, grab a cup of juice and popcorn, eh? Better just everything you need to know about this international airport, it is in this video, eh? So, everything you need to know, both the flight operations, both when every uh flight operations, everything, everything you need to know about this airport, airport international airport, is in this video. So, watch this video till the end. And please, before we go, hmm, have you subscribed to my channel? Have you? please subscribe to my channel subscription is free it will not cost you anything you know i go all out of my way to make you guys happy because okay you guys have been requesting for this video and i decided to bring it to your doorstep today eh the only thing i want from you is subscription and please stop skipping my ads those ads that usually pops up i beg me gonna know the skipper eh all right so guys just uh relax like i told you if you're not seated i bet carry your chair and sit properly properly and enjoy this video okay all the flight operations the day that uh the flights uh, will commence that flight operation will commence at this airport you are definitely going to know all of them in this video of course you already know that i'll be speaking with the commissioner for aviation and transport airborne state so she's going to be telling us everything that we needed to know at the airport now this is the entry of the airport this is what it looks like today about international airport this is what the entrance looks like today this is the latest video of this airport that you're going to be seeing on this internet today okay very fresh and new brand new okay so this is the latest update so i just arrived the airport look at my face i am you know looking finding my way to the commissioner's office so when we got there i and my crew uh, we were told that our office is where our office is which is around um, the presidential lodge so i decided to go meet her right in her office so that she's going to tell us everything we needed to know okay because a lot of you have been asking me series of questions as regards when flight operations is going to commence and I, I, trust me guys i have good news for you i have good news for you okay and for particularly people doubting thomas's who believe that a boy airport might never work again okay so i also have a shocker for you so if you don't have shock absorber Mm. if you don't have a shock absorber i beg <laughs> i don't know what i go tell you at this point so this is me where i was trying to locate the office of the commissioner for aviation airborne state okay so i'm going back to towards the gate side so i can locate where our office is okay so this is the police post at the airport of course this is the entrance to the airport you all know you have seen this entrance several so i'm going to be taking my right hand side right about now so like i told you we are going to meet the commissioner for aviation so let's go Because I'm in the media, you know, I, I have that automatic pass. <laughs> so, my dearie, make that no mind me. Let's just go into the commissioner's office and find out all she has to uh, say. So, 
uh, we are trying to locate the particular place where she is this is a very beautiful office i must say so this is the second stage and finally we are at the last stage of the commissioner's office and i'm waiting for her is dr Ngozi Obichuku, i'm the owner of the commissioner for aviation transport technology in the body state okay now uh we we want to know how has the administration of a uh, right honorable francis Oguna Mifuru been so far uh, the administration has been so meaningful and impactful too in that um, he started on a good footing not minding maybe that is uh, just new in the administration to us who are women we are better off because the administration is gender sensitive and uh, female inclusiveness is there knowing that he's carrying the women along is one of the best that has happened to every state infrastructurally he is doing his best to see that a moves on with the tempo of the infrastructure we had on ground. Then when you have human development, he is equally in human development. And um, that goes to uh, emphasize the fact that he's empowering both the youth, both the middle age, and the elderly. And this administration is so sensitive that um, even the outsiders are wondering what magic the governor is doing. When you look at this place that I am in and the international airport, for him to start on the right footing here, knowing that there are so many things to be done in the international airport, he started well by one, giving out the wrong way for, uh, to be you know, reconstructed and rehabilitated so that flights will land easily. Not only that, he has ensured that over 500 workers that were employed the other time in, other, in the other administration and never paid, they were never paid their salary. He has approved their salary, and as I'm talking to you, their salary is already running now. Then when you talk of the maintenance of the big structure, he has made sure that all the electrical appliances all the works that are supposed to be completed, the contractors are back to site to ensure that this airport is alive again. Secondly, he has made a point to be on the world map okay. in terms of transportation, both across the globe by uh, you know, having aircraft coming from different directions and they are landing here and taking off peacefully. So this administration, has been very, 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 very wonderful in Ebony. Ebony is in good hands. So, okay. So now, uh, for the benefit of people who are watching us right now, I want to know uh, the state of the airport at the moment because people are asking uh, when flight operation will commence fully at the airport. So we want to know what the fate of these people are. Yeah, that uh, question shouldn't have come up because flight operation even commenced in the last administration. Okay. But you know, international airport or whatever airport the name may be doesn't operate the way people think. Okay. It's not ordinary taxi that is on the ground. There are so many things to be put together. There are so many approvals to be gotten. There are so many, so many, uh, you know, things that will make the airport work wonderfully well. So his hundred days in office and having achieved that, everything is set. By the grace of God, this month, August, we are in now. I think the last week of the month, that should be around 28th to 30th, the flight will commence two times week weekly, okay. Mondays and Fridays. And we are you know, benefiting because Mondays we don't observe um, sit at home. home. Yeah. So people will be making use of the, uh, the airport. And then Fridays and weekends, people would like to travel from Abuja from Lagos to be coming here. And that notwithstanding, he has made it possible for even private jets to be coming here. We have so many private you know, jets that are coming into Ebonya going now, courtesy of His Excellency. Okay. Because he has made everything possible for us to you know, 
uh, operate the airport very beautifully. Okay, now we heard that uh, the uh, the runway was supposed to be reconstructed. Is that true? Um, not really reconstructed. There are some little areas we really need to work on, according to the directive of the National Aviation Commission. And that's and fun. And that is what we are going The bid has been opened and the contractors will start to work because they are mobilizing to site okay. to ensure that it meets the standard of the international airport. It's not as if it's not, it's not working. This after all, people are landing. But okay. the only thing is that His Excellency Obonami, if he wants the best for Ebony State, he wants the, the runway to be in the best shape. Okay. Now that that uh, the wrong way, which, uh, I will tell you, is not hindering any you know um, um, aircraft landing. Okay. But he wants it. If you call it Panadol, let it be Panadol. Okay. He wants it to be perfectly done. Where the last administration, our dear governor, did well by using the uh, concrete, the, uh, the cement. But now the fan people are saying it must be tarred. Okay. So it's not as if it's a bad one. Okay. We only want to tie it so that we will meet their standard. Okay. So what about the control tower? Everything is in good shape. Yeah, the control tower. His Excellency has approved for it to be capped. Okay. It wasn't capped when he came in. Okay. So for it to be capped now, and then all the other necessary, the firehouse and the other thing. Everything. If you go there now, you see people are running helter skelter to put everything in shape. Within these few days, he has approved so many contractors to go back to site. Okay. Now, if you were not the Commissioner for Aviation and Transport, Ebony State, politics apart, what other things do you think that this administration should have done within these 100 days in office? I don't really... You know me, I'm not a psychophant. Yeah. I tell you bluntly. Um, I don't really know what they would have done. I, I, I will tell you that they did what... I never expected to be done within this space of time okay. because his administration is cutting across and is all inclusive mm -hmm. and his ad administration is so impactful that even the youths, the students, the men, the women, look at what he's doing in our hospitals. You know, the social sector aspect of the administration mm -hmm. is doing really well in terms of reactivating the um, health centers, the primary health care centers, the, the general hospitals. Okay. And not only that, in the education subsector, he has gone round to see that what, what is on ground, that he will improve and he is improving on it. Then talk of the employment, he has within a space of, even before the 100 days, employed 1,000 staff to, you know, push into the civil service. Okay. And uh, not only that, he's making sure that every health care center or general hospital is having enough personnel, and he is making sure of that. So in all the sectors, economically, the economic sector is booming okay. with all this um, human empowerment and uh, getting people to be, uh, you know, to be empowered to ensure that life is better off. So. As I'm talking to you now, the Ministry of Commerce, which is under the economic sector, mm -hmm. is already dishing out funds to small-scale uh, traders, mm -hmm. those uh, small-scale marketers, mm -hmm. to encourage them to go into their business proper. So, and every other ministry, talk of the culture, where we, we never invested much before, yeah. is really into it. So. I wouldn't say what he has not done, but I would rather say he has done out of my own expectation. So now on the scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate him? I would rate him 10 over 10, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm somebody that is blunt. If he's not doing the right thing, I would tell you, not minding that I'm in a position. Okay. I'm rating Governor Kubuna Wifu 10 over 10. And I'm rating the wife. 10 over 10 over 10. <laughs> because the woman has really, really, really touched me, my soft spot. Wow. I have serious soft spot for gender issues. Okay. Especially uh, pertaining to gender-based violence. Okay. I have soft spot for anybody that 
is conscious of that uh, end to GBV. Yeah. And she came, she, she didn't waste time, she started tackling it wow. from different angles. You see the ones that are there in Anambra, in Imo State, she's busy looking for our children that are working to come back to the Boni State wow. and let there be assistance given to them. So I rate them 10, 100 to 100. Just give them more days, you see how our money will be. Okay, so what's your prayer for them? Yeah, my prayer is for those that are trying to distract him that they should sit well and watch him move. He is an administrator, he's a builder, he's a philanthropist, he's somebody who is out to make a body better. He has worn the shoes of, of a body state and he knows where and how he's preaching. And that is why he's tackling our case headlong. My prayer is for longevity. My prayer is for wisdom that he will continue with the wisdom of God and no, nothing should distract him so that we'll get to the promised land. And what's your, uh, your word of encouragement to our viewers? Yeah, not only our viewers, the Bonians as a whole, yeah. both those that are living and those that are indigent mm. of a Boni, please keep praying for the administration, keep hoping and keep wishing them well so that they will be focused and achieve that which we want. Let us not run before we, we count our steps. Let us hold on and see what this administration will be. Patience will win the world. And patience is the best virtue. And peace, when there is peace in a body, one and which will do his best to win over. But when you keep on having pockets of quarrels, pockets of war, pockets of this, communal, this, communal, that, that is distraction of itself. Yeah. And I'm happy that he didn't waste time to set up committees that handle, um, and they are still handling the issues of this uh, communal clashes, which is common in a money state. It's common across the world because of the age we are. So I pray that my people, will understand that patience and peace will bring about development. That is my prayer for all. Thank you so much, Ma, and God bless you for speaking to us. She's indeed a jolly good fellow, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So right now, I am on my way back to Abakaleke. Please share this video. That is all I need from you. Now, flight operations is going to be starting on the 25th of February, August 2023. Okay, I just want to know people who watch this video, who will watch this video till the end, because some of you will still come in the comment section and ask me, when did you say that the flight operations will start? It's going to start on the 25th of August 2023. Please share this video so that everybody who needs to see this video will see it. And if you have not subscribed, I beg you, subscribe, okay? It is free. Subscribe and help my ministry. I spent, I know how much for a while, but come here okay just because of you you guys requested for this video and i'm doing all of this for you so like share and subscribe i'll see you all in my next video bye